I'm Jubilee, Hosanna Praise Jackson. I'm grateful to be home. It's hot in here. Isn't it warm in here? Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, so it's Black History Month, right? Okay, three people are excited, yes. So I decided to kind of share some stuff that they didn't put in our textbooks. Is that okay? Okay, cool. What if I told you? What if I told you that everything is actually in reverse? That Yah's chosen people are the ones on earth who are living as cursed. That the first shall be the last and the last shall be the first. And the American state and the American church can be institutions that can keep us in the dirt, know your worth. What if I told you that he's the God of the oppressed, sent his son down in the flesh just to deliver the sinner from his mess? What if I told you that Christ came for the prostitute, drug dealer, and slave? You know, the people they told us to keep away. What if I told you that Christ ain't a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, chillin' while you're sinning kind of guy, passive on oppression, drenched in privilege for the white? It's the exact opposite. American Christian, open your eyes. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And you know what saddens me? The fact that the black community has been overlooked and pushed aside and even lied to about their true identity. According to the Bible, genealogy, and history, the so-called African American are the true Hebrew Israelites. I hope you heard me clearly. Because this ain't a joke, this ain't no extremist movement. This is deep and we have no time for games. So what if I told you the truth? Would you call me insane? Let's see. To my brethren, all my black sisters and brothers, Isaiah said he leave our name from being called the chosen. That's why in this country we're only known as Negroes and coloreds, but we're Israelites. And the people in the power knew that the Bible is our true history, so they painted Jesus white and made laws that prevented us from knowing how to read. But nowadays, they just keep us hypnotized by the dopest beats, so you can't even see the tactics that are keeping you asleep. We got the guns pointed at each other. Deuteronomy said, your eye will be evil toward your brother, toward the wife of your bosom and the remnant of your children, which ye shall leave. Don't that sound familiar? It's the curse of the no good baby daddy. And I know we're hurting, but our hearts need to turn to repentance, but we'd rather stay comfortable on our leash. And the Bible warned about this oppression. And sadly, we've gone so numb to the fact that black bodies are being killed in the streets by the police. It's the same story that's been happening since before the 60s. So that's why I cannot wait. I can't wait for all of you to wake up and know that you are chosen, that you are loved, that you are worth it. And that's why Christ is risen. So the next time you look in the mirror, remember that you are beautiful and that you are brave and that you are strong and that all men must come to an end. So the most high is the only one worth pleasing and blessings on blessings on blessings ain't not what you're thinking. It's not about driving new cars and having shiny things. And the most dangerous thing for the world is when you wake up to who you were created to be. It's time to let your true God-given identity to be unleashed. Thank you. Bless you.